Hi everyone, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. We're going to get right at this going to yeah. the Kansas City game. Yeah. And the first thing we're going to do is address that crazy play where Travis yeah. Kelsey was wide open. And let's give our due to Andy Reid hey, they on get this paid. play. This yeah. was the team phenomenally, and, and to... Prepare for it. I don't know if this was in their offense or if it was something they threw in in 10 days, uh, but it was really a nice play. And so, it's in the strike zone, too, so this one you take a shot. Yeah, so it was first and 10 at the 29. Yeah. They were down 14 nothing at this point, so yes. this is a really big play. So what you get is this three-wide receiver set. All yep. burners right here. Yep. All guys who can fly. You got one, yep. one back set, another guy who can fly, that Damian Williams. Packers are in their uh, dime defense here, yep. six defensive backs. And um, I guess the best way to start this is to kind of show what happens the over action. here. Yeah. You know, so this is like <laughs> massive play action. Yes. Um, Deception, everything. Yeah, misdirection. So I'll, I'll just that. start here, and then yeah. you can show. Yeah. Um, so this he is comes the in first motion, action, like a jet sweep, right? Yep. Yes. <laughs> and he, he's going to come under the quarterback. Yep. All right. But at the same time, he he passes Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill starts to go. He in starts motion. to follow him. It's like yes. Wow, that's unbelievable. And then, and then the this back. guy. <laughs> Come this way. this way. Right. <laughs> and not to mention, you got a guy that's on the line that's finna do it like a deep eight. Yeah. You know, that's a lot of moving parts. And we'll show you why we got these two and guys circled in a minute. And when you're in man-to-man, -man, <laughs> this is a yes, killer. Because it is. Uh, Jair Alexander you gotta has go to come with this guy. all the way so over does, here. So does King. Kevin King has to come all the way yep. over here. And Tremont Williams is here. Yep. Now, the two you, guys that weren't fooled was 39 and 38. Right, right. Now, tell us what uh, all this action does in relation to the tight end and the safety here. Well, the first thing I say it every week, alignment, assignment, and execution. Okay. If you're in man-to-man, -man, you should always stay with your guy. You don't even have the run until mm -hmm. the runner is down the field, really, for these kind of things to happen. Now, me and Wayne Simmons, you remember Wayne Simmons? Mm -hmm. We had this thing going that if I'm in man to man, if my man blocks you, I'm gone. You He's your guy. Him. Don't try to be a hero to get rid of him. No, let me come around and get this sack if it's going to work. But what happens here is Kelsey, he comes down and he blocks. Yeah, he blocks Fackrell. Yeah, he blocked Fackrell, hey, and it looks good. He's out of the play. Yeah, you want to go to the pictures and show the first setup? Or you yeah, stay yeah. Here? No, let's go ahead and, yeah, and look sort at the of show the action. We're going to show you the in in motion, the action. See, now look at that. That's the uh, bunch up top. Yep. The, the trips up top. Everything looks fine. Right. Now, here and then comes there's that the motion. first guy, and See, here comes oh, the second oh, guy. Oh, oh. Okay? Now, try to diagnose yeah. that if you're a defensive back. Now, you got those two guys going that way. There's yes. the fake handoff. That's okay? another good point. So, as you're, if you're Darnell Savage, 26, Blake yeah. Martinez, 50, you are like, where is this ball going? Hey, right? Where's Waldo? But again, if you're Savage and your man is Kelsey, and you see him blocking Fackro. Right. You tell Fackro, you stay on him. I'm going to go to the quarterback. Or I'm going to go find out what's going on. Okay. So you know? let, let's go back to the board. Yes. So what you're saying is once that happened, just come. You're going to the quarterback. Yeah. You, you, got, you got what we call what we call secondary contain. Because normally 51 is the contain guy. But since we've swapped, now you can come in and be aggressive. I become the the secondary contain. I'm going to keep running and get a sack because these two guys they're going to run right past me because mm -hmm. they're trying to you know trying to be deceptive. Now what happens is when Savage sees that they're engaged, he's thinking, "Well, it's a reverse or something." Now yeah. we call this the old blank screen mm -hmm. <laughs> because normally the guy who gives up says, "Oh, blank," and you just run. But he came all the way down, even like the last picture. You saw him. 
He was all the way down here with Fackrell. Yeah. And then he takes off and runs towards Martinez. Now, Martinez is really is a free guy. He's just in the middle. He's trying to find the ball. And Kelsey just takes up and goes over here. Yeah. And there's nobody around him. So what, what I think what got Savage here is that these guys are coming here, yeah. and he's like, oh, man, you know, these guys First are way color. over here. But you got to trust that they're going to get over. Yeah, that's their guy. And if right. this is your guy, you got to cover him. You know, yep. but you can see, as a rookie, he's never seen that no, before. No, no, he's never he, seen that. You know, and all no. it takes is a second to get yeah. to seven. To it see. happened to me against Keith Jackson. <laughs> really? Then we had Keith Jackson, and we had Mark Tremuro. And Mark Tremura came over, and they were, like, staggered. And I had Keith Jackson. But Keith blocked down. Mark released. So uh -huh. I'm like, okay, great. So I'm thinking it was a run. And next thing you know, Keith was back there by himself. Yeah. Because I took my eyes off of him. But as you show with the arrows, okay. that's a lot of moving parts yeah. for anybody. So let's watch the rest of it. Yeah, so now you see Jair and you see King saying, okay, there are my two guys. Yep. They got the arrow. But then you also see Savage, he's looking, now he's trying to figure out where is Kelsey. And where's the ball. And he's and actually ball? lost Kelsey there. Yeah, he's lost him now, at that point. Now, you know, and, and here's the beauty of this play, too, is that, you know, while it allows for pressure, mm -hmm. Matt Moore has Tyreek Hill on the left. Yeah. You know, he's got receiver on the farther left. He's got Damian Williams in the flat. And then, but all along, he's really just looking at Kelsey. Oh, yeah. He's the number one guy. And I mean, a lot of people yeah. thought this was Blake Martinez's play here. Yeah. But you, you pointed out that really this is set up for the safety to cover. Uh, yes, because it's man to man. He's the only one not okay, covering Okay, and we anybody. can watch the rest of it, how it goes down. And See, at uh, this point, it's just... You just shake your hand to your opponent. I mean, he's open me. by five yards on any side of the right. field. That is as wide open as you can get. And if we can show that other angle uh, from the line of scrimmage, the great thing about this was that Matt Moore, he couldn't, if you watch this go, and I watch Kelsey, he's going to turn to the left. Yep. But Matt Moore had to throw it so to the right because he was under pressure. pressure. Yes. And so he left it right out there for him. And yep. that was that was really impressive on their parts. So So again, you make a call backside. I had Wayne Simmons take Kelsey. I would go to the quarterback and get a sack. But for the most part, if you don't do that, there's a lesson learned for all young defensive back and all the cornerback safety. When you're in man to man, staring your guy. Mm. There's no need to come up here. You got enough guys up here to take care of the run if it's run. Because all they need is you to just take one step and they're gone. Yeah. So but the good thing about it, as coaching point, they did take away the eight. So two guys weren't fooled at all. Because sometimes this is wide open too. Yeah. Because these guys, they'll look in the backfield. Right. But well, it was the rookie yeah. who got fooled, and probably and it was targeted Andy for him. Might have thought that you yes. know, when they yes. were developing it. So, yeah. you know, give a uh, check mark to Kansas City on that one. Yeah, and that happens. I mean, yeah. you know, you love making these kind of corrections when you win. Yeah. You don't like making these corrections if had this cost them the game. Yep. Okay. Yep. Now let's go back to the other side of the line. Okay, so we're going to take a look at one of many Aaron Jones plays, and this yes. was the one that clinched the game. And it was um, really a collaboration where uh, Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers met on the sideline. Yeah, during the timeout. Yep, during the yeah. timeout. Now, uh, here we are, and what we have is it's third and five. They get a first down, game's over. Yeah. So it's two minute warning. So what, what do they do? They go to an empty set with three wide receivers yep. over here, two here. Now if you're Kansas City, you know, you gotta play, you're playing the pass. Um, this guy's actually more on Lazard over yep. here. You got everybody covered, right? Yep, pretty much. Um, you're not gonna really go all out blitz on it. Well, you could. I, I guess mean, you but could. You could, what you would do, if you do that, you put the safety over here on Aaron Jones, and this guy goes to the quarterback. Okay. 
But instead, what you get is Aaron Jones does a little bit of motion right yep. here. And what are they doing with that? That's a stack release just in case if a guy is in bump and run, you can use, you know, Jimmy Smith to get free. So, so they're to, thinking if this guy comes down, yes, right, and and and, and plays him face to face. And then plus, you, I want to know if is is it if it's in zone. It could be a trick, it could be a cover two. But if you move down, oh, and he stays out there, oh, that's cover two. Now mm -hmm. Aaron can look for his best matchup somewhere in the middle. But as soon as he takes a step, where Aaron Jones. You know, Aaron knows where he's going to go with the ball. Okay. Now, you need a good route by Jimmy Graham. You really do. Right. If his route is sloppy or if he can't get off the ball, it just kind of crowds it a little bit because these safeties are going to be gone because it's like it's cover two, man. That's what it is. Right, right. Now, the free guy, he get a chance to spy, just get yeah. Aaron take off. But Aaron did do that in. earlier. Yep. So uh, but these guys are all All occupied. those guys are man to man. Right. Yep. All of them are man to man. Okay. So – we end up being focused over here. Yes. And here's the sticks. Right. That's the sticks right here, the first down. Yeah. So you got to say this guy. Actually, yeah. let's put the sticks here because this guy okay. played. This was key. Yeah, that's a good point. He and we'll show that on the picture. The sticks. He's a little bit too deep, you know, because, again, you got to get the ball back. That was communicated. Right. They got one play. If we don't get the ball back, we're going to lose. So we're going to be aggressive. Okay. So if you want to go zero, then you can walk your safeties down and, and then go and then everybody else loop in. And this guy loops in late because he's in shotgun. But they chose to play coverage. Okay. And so, so that's show fine. us uh, what Aaron. So he basically has an option. Mm -hmm. If I come down here, Jimmy Graham comes up, runs what we call a six route, and runs a pretty good route. And this guy just follows him. Now, he, Aaron Jones come down, he can go inside or outside. He can run a snag, he can run a Texas, whatever. But he just comes out and just run out. And this guy was a little bit too deep to get him. Mm -hmm. And that's the ball game. Yeah. It's just as simple as that. And, again, Matt LaFleur ran a lot of these routes from empty earlier, and it seemed like it confused Kansas City at one point. Yeah. But then they would say, well, just blitz, and they were able to get home. But here, you like any matchup. If it's a linebacker or a safety, if it's a defensive back, yeah. you can go for another option. Now you got to. The one thing about this is, so if it's incomplete, you stop the clock. Yes. You've given Kansas City two minutes. Right. Um, so you got to be completely confident he's going to catch yeah. this ball. It's a high percentage pass because it's, it's pitch and catch. To a but, you know a lower percentage yeah. guy than throwing to a wide receiver. Well, but, yeah, but. But Jones, he was a hot guy. Yeah, he was. Okay, let's so, go to the video so yeah. people can get it. Look idea. at this video. This, this is amazing. Look at, look at his alignment. You know, how I always talk about the alignment. Yeah. From initially, you're beat already because you're behind the sticks. He should be where the yellow line is. He so you can see at here. the top yes. that he is behind the sticks. Yep. There's a safety behind him, which we'll show on the second run of this. But now let's go ahead and run it, and you'll see Aaron Jones go in motion here, and he's going to run right behind Graham, and that's like pitch and catch. Yep, that couldn't be any easier. And so that's let's, a ball game. let's uh, go back here just real quick, and what you're saying is that this guy should have been inside the sticks. Take away yes this from him. Yep, you've who cares if Aaron Jones breaks it up down the field. You got this you guy. Gotta, you got right? help deep. Yeah. The only place you got to be aggressive first. is before the sticks. Yeah. I mean, yep. that's what you're playing for. Keep And him. you notice everybody else is in bump and run but him. Yeah. So, and that's the only one that he's saying to himself, I just don't want to get beat by Aaron Jones. And, and but, you know, he's got to know that he's got the help yep. deep. You know? And what they could have did now to be the smartest guy in the room, hey, if he goes in motion, we're going to double him. You're locked up. If he comes in motion and go underneath, you got him, and mm -hmm. I'm free to help somebody. But if he goes out and comes back, I'm going for the pick because we're doubling him and more aggressive. That's how you stop it. Okay, so let's And then look. you have to make Aaron hold on to the ball and go somewhere else. Here we, we take a look. This is a good angle there. Yeah, Why Jimmy Graham's release? Now, look, he's two yards behind the sticks. That's just okay. too deep. Go ahead. Here he comes. All See right, right there? That's good at Jimmy you're, Graham getting inside. Yeah. That was great. And you're it creates more space for Aaron Jones. And that, that safety was behind in case Aaron Jones did an out and up. Yes. 
And you got to be aggressive. Good play call, bad defense on Kansas City's yes. part. Just like Savage, you know, got left in the dust, this guy did too. So. And it happens, but again, you can't let it happen when you got to get the ball back. Yeah. You got to be aggressive. Yeah. So, but good use of Aaron Jones, again. Yes. Might as well go to your hot hand, right? Right. Okay. Yep, I agree. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the um, I enjoyed videos. It. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> All right. Bye -bye. We will see you next week after the Chargers game.